My name is Jeffrey Lee Woods, and I have a film tonight called The Exterminator, playing at the Anthology Film Archives. This is Jeremy Mather. He worked on The Exterminator with us. He was script supervisor slash um, just all around, you're not doing wow. it right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he's always someone you want on set who just like, uh, is very cheerful and also, um, I call him, his nickname should be, you're not doing it right. Um, but uh, yeah, so he's just good to have all around. He's a filmmaker too, he's screened here as well. And so you gather yourself with the right people and I think you can make a great film. Did you have a hard time finding the place? Hmm. Well, but whenever I order pizza, <laughs> They always get lost. <laughs> Sometimes I gotta go up there on the corner and meet with them. <laughs> and look at me. <laughs> Hell, I can barely make it to the bathroom. <laughs> my first short film played here over 10 years ago. And this, is, this might be my last short film that I make, not sure. Everybody says it's <laughs> their last film because it's so difficult to make. But I think it's an interesting full circle that I started here and it might be ending here. So it's, it's cool. Uh, New Filmmakers has always been very relaxed and um, just refreshing to, to be at. So I, I enjoy coming here. I actually worked with Jeff at a place called Film Video Arts, uh, which used to be on Broadway and 12th. It's, don't think it exists anymore, but we worked in the equipment room together, uh, learning how to load film cameras and stuff like that. We were like interns basically and worked two days a week for free. and. Just have always been kind of fascinated with New York. Uh, I grew up in the Pacific Northwest. I could have gone to LA, I could have gone to Seattle, which I spent some time in both of those places. I think New York is badass. It's just got a little bit more um, history, a little more, and I like the energy here is a little more hustle and bustle. And I feel like people that succeed here do so because they've actually worked hard to achieve something. And I feel like the sort of the cream floats to the top. A lot of people who come to film in New York are here to film the city and not the sound stages. You know, they're here to film the real people, real energy, real headaches, real bullshit. That's life and it's in our face every day. And if you can somehow stay positive and put that into a story, then I just like shooting in New York because um, it, get, it just constantly gives you a kick in the ass. <laughs> and there's Sergeant Williams. Right after that picture was taken, the old Sarge fired at this little baby gook six feet away, and he missed. He moves in about four or five feet closer, and he misses again. <laughs> we laughed our asses off. <laughs> so he gets up right on top of the baby gook and pops it. They court martialed him. I submitted to a couple LA festivals or West Coast stuff and um, never heard back from anybody. So my film is 30, still a chance. It's 30 minutes long and it's, you know, um, it's one of those films that might not grab you like the first three seconds. I'm still making films for the intelligent audience. I think they're still out there and um, I hope that they can just stick with it and enjoy the, process, the stories.